Hello everybody, this is Stal Eagler here with a little rant video on Heroes and Generals. Now, first of all, I just want to clarify that despite this little membership expired renew now uh, dialogue right here, I just want to say that I didn't I didn't buy it, it was just a free promo thing for like a single day to get people to get the, buy the membership. And I mean, I wouldn't recommend this. If you're gonna if you're gonna pay a subscription, I would not pay it to this game. I'm sure there are plenty of better games out there. But now onto my rant. Okay, heroes and generals. The, this game wastes too much time putting you at a disadvantage versus other players, which in turn is not fun. If if you have like say this MP40, you're gonna have all the all the time in the world to just to just destroy and ravage all of these other players who have only their little starting rifle and grenades that are really expensive to repair. And that is pretty much um, what I said about the latter part, that having this crappy rifle and these expensive grenades goes to anybody who decides to download this free game and play it. They are not going to have any fun. Also, they, in addition to being at a disadvantage, they are going to have to wait a long time in order to buy the car. And the car, in my opinion, is essential to any of the game modes, whether it be the simple encounter, which is like a Call of Duty map. I would compare it to that. I mean, they're, it's pretty close, except Call of Duty is a little bit more balanced, in my opinion. Or to the like Assault War maps, where they are, I would say, essential. They are essential, excuse me. But if you decide to turn on this game because, you know, it's free and you're bored, okay, please take my advice. I know this video is not going to go to everybody, so um, I would say, if you, I think whatever random faction you get, if it's not the Soviet Union, then switch to the Soviet Union right, right away. You get three different soldiers, and you can only level up one of them uh, at the beginning, and I would say you go to the Soviet Union. And just qu very quickly, I say this because they get an anti-tank rifle, and no other faction gets that. I mean, I can't say I used it often, but I have gotten cars just destroyed by it in one shot. So, you don't want to be fighting against uh, people with these rifles, and if you choose the Soviet Union, you will have people with this stupid rifle as your ally. Now, this video is not going to be all about me talking about this rifle, <laughs> as much as I want to talk about it. I'm complaining about the progression of this game. Now, look at all of these silver little um, boxes here. They may be kind of hard to see because of the little um, layer of the lock thingy they put in front of it. Like, if I was to drag back this gun, it'd be a little bit more clear to see, so I don't know why they decided to do that. But, take take any of these guns. Wh whichever one you want to use, um, I would say of these all, use the DP-28, because it's a light, it's a stable light machine gun with a lot of bullets, in comparison to the German and American guns, which have either a light machine gun with like 20 bullets or their light machine guns are really difficult to use. So you look at this and you're like, wow, okay, uh, what a nice little gun. I want to use it because I, I keep getting my butt kicked by all these other people who have their their MG42s with 50 bullets and they, they just walk up to you and kill you. Okay, so what does it take to buy this gun? So you can either progress very, very slowly and then have to pay, um, let's see, 158,000 uh, credits, free, uh, the free credits you gain just by playing the game. So, so what? Okay, well, I'll, I'll explain. Um, you start off at rank 1, and this game pays you by how long you are playing in-game. So, 7,600 uh, credits per hour. So, okay, for each full hour of gameplay you are playing, you will get just this amount of credits. Uh, how long does it take to get this light machine gun again? Well, well I just checked pretty quickly over 20 full hours of you just playing this game to get this one little rifle and allow me and I think I already said this but you want to get the cars in this game in order to have any fun so let me check the prices of this uh, 46,000 so you so it actually it's probably gonna take more like 20 more like 25 hours or something but that's just at the first rank okay I guess that's not very fair admittedly when you play this game uh, leveling up is kind of fast at first like see you only need 3,500 experience compared to like you get to rank 13, it requires like 50,000 experience. But you know what, let's take it a step farther. You say, let's say you wanna, you're, you're already of the highest um, rank or that, you, that will give you the top salary for an infantry person. Okay, 15,000 is 600 per hour. Okay, so I just did a quick little calculation on that too. Over 10 hours in a row to get this light machine gun and nothing else. But not just that either. <laughs> In order to get it, you have to unlock the Infantry Assault 9th grade, which pretty much means 
uh, as its description says, you have to use semi-auto or bolt-action rifles in order to get a light machine gun, which, I mean, I guess it makes sense in certain in the thought of, a, of the size of the gun, but in gameplay, that, that just doesn't match. Like, with light machine guns, you can walk up to someone and then just hit, spray them in the face and they die, but with this semi-automatic rifle, it is a it is a strange thing like I'll, ex I'll explain so if you're not trying to snipe people from like a slight distance at a very like specific distance then you have to walk up to them and you have to shoot them by default without any upgrades three times like this um, maybe you can let's see if you can hear this just about that amount, amount of time in, to, in order to kill them unless you get like a lucky headshot but when they like anybody else in this game who's played for I don't know, since the beta, where, when things were cheap, all of them with their little, with their little anything's, their Thompsons, or their M or MP40s, they just look at you after you sh shot them twice, and then they just, they just go, they just click the button, and then with their SM <laughs> machine guns, and you just die. So, that's not very fun, is it? Okay. Well, if you want to get this DP-28, then it's not the most sufferable thing in the world. You can upgrade your gun, like, get a little bolt thingy, a spring, Increase the fire rate, and that'll and, and admittedly it does make it a bit more tolerable. It does give you a bit of an advantage, despite that it will also reduce other things. But what that does um, for each upgrade in the game, repairing your gun make, it makes it repairing a lot more expensive. By default, like for say a 20 minute match, you will spend of your little credits like 50 credits in total, especially for this little rifle here. But then with the upgrade that 50 credits or maybe even 100 if you played like a war match or something or actually that's a bad example an assault match that becomes like with an upgrade for in order for you to have fun like 250 or with multiple like a thousand and that, remember that's chopping off of a full hour of gameplay that you oop, that's not that's not what a full hour of gameplay that you have and unless you're playing what they call uh, specific war matches, chances are you're not going to play for longer for 30 minutes, and then you make just a meager amount of credits in order to get any of these guns. Like, say you want this uh, this PPSH. Well, it's not just that you have to play for like at least 10 hours with the infantry, but also you have to purchase the lower PPD-40, which is another 50 cr 50,000 credits, and also it's just that the PPD-40, or any of the Tier 1 submachine guns, which means whichever machine gun that the game provides you first, they are they are specifically nerfed, so you have to... The fire rate is just like... It's like this. In comparison to like... Da -da 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 with um, any of the later rifle the submachine guns. So you walk up to someone else, like say I got this PPD-40, and you're like, oh wow, it has 71 bullets, how cool. And you face off against the German MP-40, and then they just shoot you, when you, and, you're, and, you have, and you stand no chance, unless you get a lucky headshot, which, no matter what, a headshot is a one-hit kill, which, I mean, I could go on about how, how silly that is, considering how damage is handled in this game. That you're just put at the disadvantage, so what? Okay, you have to play a bit more. Play a little bit more smart. You're using your SVT-40, and you, and you know this game. There's a lot of open space. There are nice large maps. Okay, so you'll just keep using the SVT-40 until you get your nice DP-28, nice light machine gun. Or if you want the AVS-36, which I think is a just I look. Let's put it side by side. This AVS right next to the SVT-40. Just, just a. See, you see that curved magazine? That right there is a sign of it being the better gun. No, I'm just kidding. It's it's because it can also um, shoot uh, automatically or semi-automatic. So if you're close or you're far, this thing can do what the SVT-40 can't, except for having cheap upgrades. I will admit. I mean, I don't actually have the AVS, but I do have the equivalent of it in the, in the German faction, and it, it it can be pretty expensive. So the thing about the SVT-40, I think I already said this, but it takes three slow shots to kill unless you upgrade it. And that's just, and I mean, you don't have to upgrade it. You can just, you can just suffer until you get the DP-28. Okay, so, okay, so you just, you just, you, you enter a map. Let's say um, an assault map, because chances are when you, when you click to battle, you're, they'll probably send you to an assault match. If it's your first time playing, I think they force you into skirmish matches, but... You'll walk around because you don't have your car because the game doesn't want to provide any cars, I guess. I mean, all right, fine. You take a bike because there are bikes in this game. Or even the tractor. You're just going forward and then you get sniped. 
Now, that this is one of my biggest flaws with this game. It's the snipers. Like, yeah, I have played as the sniper myself, and I am not very good at aiming, but that doesn't make the game any more fun. And honestly, I I don't know what the I don't know what a sniper can do that just will make the game not annoying that a regular infantry can do. Like, whatever whatever you can say, oh, the sniper got me, that that's that was not annoying. Like you would say that if they just walked up to you within a couple of feet and they shot you, they're like, oh wow, good job, buddy. You had your slow rifle, you killed me. But anywhere else, chances are you'll probably just be infuriated. Because one of two things can happen. One, they just kill you in one shot and they don't have a kill cam. So you so within and there's a lot of space in these maps, I said. There you could just get shot by anywhere and yep, okay, just take a different route. Or if you got shot in a like in a bike, then oh ha ha, you don't have your car yet, and you have to actually drive the bikes in order to progress to your car, which is just kind of I don't know like 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 the game limits how many cars are in a map, so I don't know why they have to t have it take so long. I guess it could it could be worse honestly, but fine. You 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 um you get shot, you instantly die. That doesn't happen all the time. Like, if you were to buy a recon soldier right now that gives you a sniper rifle, you wouldn't have that ability to kill someone in one shot. Okay, so you don't get killed in one shot. You, you just lose, like, a third of your health. So when you get hit in this game, you can your health goes from 100% to, like, 66 to 33, as in those are the health caps. Well, remember when I said that the SVT-40 rifle has kills in, like, three hit three slow hits? Well, okay, so you're gonna walk up to somebody, and like, let's say it's a, like one of these, uh, mm, like, I guess this guy. You like you like the name I gave him? Okay, um, he doesn't have this. There's no upgrades here. So you go up to him, and you're both shooting at each other with your slow guns. It's like it's like a old old century like musket match or something. And then because you got hit by that random sniper that you that you honestly like, even if you're not going on the road, the snipers will still shoot you. <laughs> And then this guy just has an immediate advantage. It immediate, it immediate advantage because he only needs to shoot you twice. Or the more likely scenario, this guy will probably have like um, uh, the M1918 because this this is a pretty common one on Americans. They'll just they'll just they'll just hold the click and they won't have to aim. Maybe they'll, they'll crouch a little bit so you don't even see that, and then you're dead. Okay. And if, it, if it's not that, another common one is the Thompson M. Uh, it's just the Thompson. That's what I call it. And then you don't even stand a chance then. Okay. So that's pretty much how this game goes. And I mean, I, I don't even need to show any footage because it's infuriating enough. And actually, you know what? How long has this video been going on for? Um, 12 minutes? All right. Well, you know what? This game isn't all just playing as the infantry. You can play as a tank. As a matter of fact, it's guaranteed, with, even within a couple of skirmish matches, which is basically the first kind of match the game will send you into, you will see these tankmen. Oh boy! Let's see how similar this is to the sniper. So you're just going forth, and then they just shoot you randomly, like a, like a machine gun, it's just like a heavy machine gun just shoots you and you die. Or maybe if you're lucky enough, you'll get, you'll get to hide behind a tree, and then you'll run forward and you'll get shot again. That's what it's like to fight with tanks. Okay, but what if you're the tankman yourself? You're like, you know, what if, what if I just, you fight fire with fire, right? Okay, well, if you are anything, like, if you fight against the Russian um, faction, they will make sure you are dead. Like, no matter who it is, they will make sure you are dead. But if it's not that, like, otherwise, it could just be any soldier, they might be bored, or what I think is standard is for any person... I think everybody in this game has anti-tank mines, or most actually some people just have a, b a bazooka, and then they just walk up to you, and then they can easily destroy your whole tank. Now, the tank HUD in this game is not like just like say I think I've played War Thunder before. It's not like third person, or if you play for first person, um, the tank view is just it's not fun to play with. Like I've played the tankman, and I could say it's not fun, but for you, for anybody. It, it is unavoidable that, like, <laughs> I think I've been speaking a little too much. I don't have my water nearby. You have to look through this narrow window so you can't see anyone, any infantry that just decided to get in their car and drive up to you. You can only hear them, and by the time you look over at their car, there is no one there. And then you hear a little, that's them planting a mine on your tank. And then 
your tank has ha half health and there is smoke, smoke in your tank, and you're like, you do one of two things. One, you can just die because it's probably what will happen considering you, the tankman doesn't have a lot of armor or good guns. Like, they have less equipment points so they can't get, like, um, well, actually things could be worse for them. Anyway, you hear the tank and your tank is pretty much screwed because the guy is going to plant another one and your, and your tank's just going to go gone. And you don't want to be running around in a smoking tank, not just for visibility, but because the other tanks will just, they will just pick you off like, just like they'll pick you off like the guy with the MP40 that decided to pick you off with your SVT or whatever equivalent, like M1 Garand is the equivalent to the SVT. And then you get out of your tank and congratulations, you may have killed the guy, you may have shot the guy who killed your tank, but now you're just another infantry with a disadvantage because he doesn't have anything. Like, this MP434 took up all my space, so I can't get a medic or a crate or any grenades or anything. Okay, fine. Well, there's also the recon. Okay, I mean, you can be good at it and you can laugh at people because you can be like, haha. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's the mentality of all recons. I, I, they are, they are evil. That, they, it's like a, it's like a, it could be like a psychology study. People who play often as the recon versus people who play as the infantry. And I mean, in my experience, you just sit there and you, I mean, unless you have the one-shot rifle already, you're, which you which you would probably end up buying because of how slow experience is in this game. You just wait, you pick a spot, and then you feel bad because of how that guy who had the starting rifle probably played the game for the first time, he's now dead. And you can play as a recon in the skirmish matches as well. And yep, I've had plenty of experience with that. Or you can play as a fighter pilot. This wouldn't be so bad, actually, because um, back when back earlier in this game's lifespan, uh, you would there are three types of planes right now. There's the Renaissance planes, fighter planes, and heavy uh, fighter planes. I think by default, if you get if you bought a um, excuse me, I need my water. Uh, one of these fighter planes, you would get the uh, excuse me. <laughs> if you bought the pilot, you would get the um, fighter planes by default, and you would not have to deal with any of this Renaissance uh, BS. And then you would just do your thing, I guess. But now, as a Renaissance plane, um, they, these guys drive probably it feel, what it feels like as fast um, as one of the regular cars on the ground, and as slow as just an infantry sprinting. They, these guys, what you will experience are tanks sniping you, just a tank pointing its cannon upward in its narrow window being like, oh, there it is, there's a guy. Or actually, it doesn't have to be the narrow window. It could, they can actually zoom in. So they'll just see you in the sky, and they'll be like, ah, this is kind of funny. And they'll shoot you, and you'll lose pretty much all your armor. And sometimes you'll just get shot out of the sky, like you'll be dead. And if it's not that, then what sometimes I do, because fighter planes are kind of like recon, they're just annoying. I'll get out like my light machine gun, or actually not even light machine gun, like you can just get out a submachine gun too, and when the Renaissance planes are flying by so slowly, you just shoot them and they lose their armor. <laughs> so it, it's like, and it doesn't feel good, you're like, you feel like a wimp. You feel like you have the SVT, whatever it is. You feel like you have the, oh, um, the Goor, which is, or actually I don't think that's how you pronounce it. Okay, and then also anti-aircraft, they will just destroy you. And then finally you get the fire plane, and then you click to battle, and you wait 20 minutes to join a match. Okay, but there's one last class in the game, and uh, they pray, <laughs> pray. They, pl they pay pretty well. It is the, um, wait for it, the general class. Look at that price. One, I don't even need to say it. You pretty much don't even look at this. You look at the gold tag right next to it. Uh, 9,900 gold. Okay, how much does this cost? I mean, the game was free, so I guess you could say this is how you pay pay for stuff. All right, 50 bucks. Like, like you're playing, you're paying for the new whatever game. I mean, games typically cost 60, so here you go. All right, but even if you buy the general who has a high-paying uh, salary, if I was to guess, I would assume they would pay like 15,000, and then it, it would go to like 30,000 per hour or something. All right, but that doesn't stop what I mentioned before, which is the ribbons to get oh my god I really should have got some water the ribbons to get these light machine guns and stuff and if you want to just use the general to, ca to grind for some money you still that money that you grind will has to go to these ribbons still like an extra 
oh my gosh, I didn't even look, I, I didn't even see this correctly. I looked at the gold number, but that is still another 50,000 credits for just this rank 5 uh, ribbon alone. But that's already with 2,400 experience uh, out of 800. Chances are this next one is going to be like 75,000 and like 100,000 considering how the EXP progresses. And it's going to be like, like if I had to guess, like 400,000 credits after that. And I mean, I doubt the general pays that much. I mean, maybe it does. Maybe that's the ridiculousness of the general. But I doubt it, considering how stingy this game already is. So either way, you're still stuck using this crappy SVT rifle and just having a bad time. Like, oh man, I if you, I can't even, I can't even explain it enough. Like, the only time you're gonna have fun in this game is after you've already wasted your time, like I did, or something. Or if you spam grenades and then just pay for them because they're so expensive. It's like, oh my gosh. I mean. With the default gear, this game still has its moments of where you're like, oh my gosh, this is getting intense, gotta fight for the team or whatever, because unlike other games, people in this game do try to go for the point. So, I mean, until then, though, like, what are you gonna do? You're gonna just... You gotta pay for one of these guns, you gotta pay for the car, and then you gotta pay for the motorcycle, because people like to waste cars, because not everybody plays smart in this game. Uh, that's just what it feels like to play heroes in general, honestly. And I think that'll conclude my rant. Just remember, pick the Soviet Union. Um, I mean, if you really want to go for the submachine gun, then sure. But I would recommend using the F suffering the SVT until you get the um, the DP28 or the AVS36. Because despite how negative I am, there is still a chance where you could pick up someone's uh, other someone else's rifle who has it buffed. Um, better than what you have like say if you fight someone on the German side it, they, they have a gun called the STG 44 and it looks kind of like an AK I would say it looks like a modern rifle and yeah you want to get those for sure you'll you'll have a much better time with that but uh, but that's not often you get that because that means you have to kill them first and you also have to hope that no one else decides to sprint up and grab their gun because that's another common experience if someone sees a gun on the ground which people tend to not they will they will just they'll just go like the animation doesn't even look right. And then you'll see the gun in their hand, and you'll be like, oh, oh good. But, um, this is Stout Eagler signing off, saying, you, you definitely want, you definitely want this stupid rifle.